लाइफ इज अ जर्नी विथ प्रॉब्लम्स टू सॉल्व एंड लेसन्स टू लर्न बट मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल experiences to enjoy so hello my dear learners welcome to my channel my name is namita and today i am going to share with you all my journey from basic to advanced english how i improved my spoken english skills and took them to an advanced level so it was not really basic for me i would use intermediate level because i have already shared with you i am from an english medium school my entire education has been uh through english medium only so english was not a big problem for me it was always my favorite subject whenever we would get a new set of books in new class i would always pick up the english literature book first and start reading the stories before the school began i would read all the stories i was that fond of english so as you are already realizing that reading has all, always been a habit for me so yes this is something which has worked for me i will talk about it later but the first thing that i want to tell you is that english is not something which is separate from me i have never kept english away from me in a way that i would wait for situations or some necessary moments where i am required to speak in english that i would speak english only in the competitions and debates and declamations or speech uh, presentation something like that english was always a part of my life and for you also it is not something that you have to keep away from yourself that when only i have to speak in a meeting i would speak if i have to give a presentation i would speak in english if i have to appear for an interview then only i'll speak in english don't treat english as an alien let it be a part of your life let it be a part of your routine keep english everywhere all through your day like you're watching some stuff watch it in english if you're speaking to yourself then also speak in english do activities which are somewhere in english don't set aside a particular time that if i have to go to institute or if i have to attend a class then only i'll come in touch with english or if i watch a video then only i'll i'll just listen to some english english should be a part of your life if you'll keep it away then it'll stay away from you if you really want to speak it with the flow it has to be a part of your routine and that's what i have always done i have not waited for moments and right time to speak english i would speak english all through the day even if there is no one to talk to i would talk to myself it's as simple as that then as i already told you it is reading which has worked for me and i keep telling you there are more than 550 videos on my channel you can open any video i'm sure i would have mentioned something about reading because reading is the only thing which is potent enough to make you fluent in english you don't have to work on any other skill if you are a reader reading would build your fluency reading would make you understand good vocabulary it will actually fill your vocabulary bank with certain amazing words and it will help you in your grammar construction also the sentence formation the way conversations are made everything can be achieved only through reading but you don't do it the thing is you listen to it while watching this video and then the moment this video finishes you'll switch on to another video that's it you are never practicing it and how I wonder how people say that we don't like reading or we cannot read how can you not read you are an educated person on this channel i think most of the viewers are already adults so you have passed your school or you are a graduate already so you are a well read person you are not an illiterate person how can you say that i don't like to read or i don't read at all what have you been admitted in school for why do we go to school why do our parents struggle so much with our school admissions because they want us to learn reading and writing they don't want us to stay illiterate all our life that is why we go to school that is why we gain education and even after passing your class 12 completing your graduation you are still saying that i cannot read it is i'm very sorry it's very sad your parents would be very sad to hear this how can you not read start reading an illiterate person if he or she says that i cannot read it is justified because they have never been to school they are illiterates and if you a well read educated person is saying i cannot read then you are equal to an illiterate you are wasting your education read everything that you want to learn come from books don't stay away from books become friends with them the syllabus books were a compulsion we liked it or we didn't like them we had to 
study we had to read but now you have an option you can choose books of your choice now you keep asking me which books i can recommend a few books but the thing is that if you buy something because i have recommended you might not like it because whatever i will recommend would be from my liking would be from my interest area from my situations i might have different tastes than you you have to choose something based on your interest area and your level of english if you are from a basic level pick up something which is from a basic level go to a bookstore do some research why are you always looking for an easy way out that someone tells you something and then you will buy it and then you will never read it if you go to a bookstore turn a few pages you will get to know if the book is in a simple language or in a difficult english you will get to know if the book is something which can resonate with your imagination or not what do you like in your life in general like you you like cricket you like cooking you like romantic stories you like horror stories you like something uh, more thriller what kind of movies do you watch is it more of drama you like something more poetic what are your interest area you have to choose book based on that so you have to do your research these is this can be done easily online so do that i can recommend books but don't buy books just based on someone else's recommendation choose your own books because you have to finish that book this is not something that you'll just read two pages and never touch that book again you have to finish that book the book should be able to keep you glued to it for a long time so pick your own books i can recommend a few like this is a very uh, famous book how to win friends and influence people i'm sure you've already heard of it by dale carnegie and this is a nice book it's it's something which can help you with your english a lot in your overall personality development nice book but the language is a little hard so this is not for the beginners level for sure but the book is very nice it's it's a nice book it will be a good read if you truly want to work on yourself on your personality on your language skills on your people skill so this can be a wonderful book i also recommended the secret by ronda byan in one of my videos this is the similar kind of book the power of subconscious mind again something which i believe should be a part of our school syllabus children should be taught something like this right in childhood it's important because when you grow up you keep looking for path how to achieve your dreams how to get successful in life so these kind of books will help you a lot for in in that particular area so this book has simple language this can help you even at the beginners level and help you in your overall journey of life these kind of books are for everyone everyone if you have the kind of mind which can work on yourself for a longer period of time and on a lighter note for youngsters this is a good book men are from mars and women are from venus again a very famous book by john gray if you are in relationship or if you wish to be in relationship in future you are married have a boyfriend girlfriend this book can be very helpful to understand uh, how relationship works how masculine and feminine are different so we should not unnecessarily expect things from each other it can help you prevent the everyday struggles or everyday fights the basic tension in relationship this is a good read it's it's a good read so you can buy something like this these are the kind of books you can buy which will help you become a better person and my recommendation would always be like this but there are other kind of books also you can choose story books you can even read comics the idea is that you have to read more of english content so pick up anything that you can understand well and you can complete you can finish that is important Okay so enough about reading but before i end up talking about reading i would say that i've always practiced speed reading this is something i've always done i always work on speed reading till date i read aloud whenever i'm reading i speak all the sentences that i'm reading it is a habit now i cannot just read mindlessly that i've read something in heart and i nothing has gotten into my head that's not my kind of reading reading means i it's like meditation for me if i'm reading i have to understand what i'm reading so i would always read it aloud and for you if you want to practice reading then practice speed reading it's very very important that you read it fast keep increasing your speed this helps your tongue 
become fluent if you can try that that's one activity or exercise you can always do apart from all of this i always worked on my vocabulary so what makes the difference from basic to advanced is always vocabulary the choice of your words is what is different in advanced english people start using a little bit more advanced words so i was always interested in it most of my vocabulary came from books only because i would read books and i would come across words which were difficult which were Uh, new to me so i would look for their meanings in dictionary underline them and write words i still do that this is something i still do i look for meanings and write the meanings when i was working in an institute which was preparing children for cat and mat examination competitive exam uh, basically the mba aspirants so there i learned this new way of learning vocabulary and it was root words there were cat books which had this roots so i started doing more research about it i was very much interested in learning these words using roots now how let me give you an example there are some roots which have meanings if you can grasp the meanings of these words it would be easy for you to understand the longer words like there is this root called lock l o q lock so this means to speak or to talk so now you know that this root has this meaning now there would be words which will have a lock in it so you will understand that this word is somewhere related to talking or speaking like there is this word called loquacious now loquacious means someone who talks a lot a talkative person chatterbox as you call it there is a synonym for it which is garrulous so a person is garrulous loquacious chatterbox when they are talkative when they speak a lot Similarly there is this word eloquent eloquent is someone who speaks english fluently i have always been an eloquent speaker right from my childhood someone who speaks with a certain way uh, with voice voice modulation and all of that so that person is known as eloquent then there is this another word called grandiloquent now grandiloquent if you try to look for it mean its meaning on your own without looking for it in dictionary then you'll be able to understand grand and lock lock is something related to talking grand someone who talks in a very pompous way someone who talks about himself or herself pompously like you must have met some people who are always boasting about themselves we have mercedes we have suvs we have a mansion we have a pool in our house things like that so that is grandiloquent and then there is a word called omniloquent now omniloquent means someone who can talk about everything everything whichever is there they can talk about it they can talk about each and everything they have a good knowledge they can talk on every topic omniloquent now omni is another root omni means all remember there is this word omnipresent god is omnipresent he is everywhere we use this for the almighty he is omnipresent omni all omnivores there were herbivores carnivores omnivores in science books you must all must have read so herbivores were the ones who eat greens carnivores who eat flesh omnivores who will eat both both flesh and greens omnivores then uh, another word which is for god omniscient omniscient the one who has all the knowledge again god omniscient omni means all omnipotent all so powerful who has all the power who has unlimited power is a person who is omnipotent so this is how you can solve the words just like mathematical equations so there comes a time if you start studying more about these roots it will actually be solvable like for me it's like if there is a longer word i can understand that this would be somewhere if not the exact meaning i would reach somewhere close to the meaning so this is how this works now it depends on your interest area i have always been very interested in learning new words and building up my vocabulary completely up to you whether you want to do it or not So if you want to do it there are so many root words and I have shared many of them in my videos also so you can try doing something like that now apart from uh, this uh, root uh, learning vocabulary through roots i was always interested in using more of phrasal verbs the people who speak advanced english are always using a lot of phrasal verbs if you have noticed these people uh, polish their english using these kind of phrases and phrases and idioms both like if you notice my speech i use figure out a lot a lot of times it is there on my tongue all the time now figure out means to understand i'm still trying to figure out how to read books right and then there is carry on 
you can say someone carry on means continue you are talking to someone on phone and they say oh, oh uh, someone has come i need to attend to them okay carry on we will talk later so that's how we use carry on come across is another thing which always sits on my tongue come across when you meet someone or something accidentally by chance like yesterday i came across an old friend of mine while i was uh, traveling in a metro so come across is meeting by chance it it is not just for persons it can be used for things also so come across is another thing come across came across coming across you can change the form not a problem it it is it is okay give up give up means stop trying never give up give up in your life never give up on your goals dreams and aspirations so stop trying this is how english is uh turned into advanced you can improve or step up from your intermediate to advanced level by using more of phrasal verbs and same with idioms like there is this very common idiom once in a blue moon something which happens rarely once in a blue moon you already know about it that uh, in india we get to breathe fresh air i am talking about this ncr area in delhi we get to breathe fresh air once in a blue moon now diwali season will come and we'll all be choked i can't tell you how much smoky it gets here so the south indians you don't know it gets terrible over here the second one is the ball is in your court if you ask someone else to decide take the decision you can say the ball is in your court i am willing to join an english institute with you you tell me the ball is in your court like from my side it's yes you have to choose then don't judge a book by its cover it's a beautiful idiom it means that you cannot just uh understand a person by the way he looks you don't yet have seen his or her heart or soul so don't judge a book by its cover then an arm and a leg i have already shared it in one of my videos an arm and a leg means expensive like buying a mercedes will cost me an arm and a leg something very expensive something costly so try to include a lot of idioms and phrases if you want to work on your advanced english it is it is really important and then with all these things with reading with vocabulary with phrases idioms one thing that i've never stopped working i'm still working on it is my confidence and confidence is not like riding a cycle if you have learned once it'll be by your side no it's like eating food you have to keep eating it all the day it's not like you've stuffed yourself and then you'll eat after one week you again will feel hungry so the confidence works in the similar manner you have to feed this confidence in yourself and for that you have to work on your mental health we all come from difficult situations we have all had our own struggles we have all faced some terrible moments and we have all been bitter we have all been shattered we have all been disappointed but that doesn't mean it should start affecting our performance in life so confidence is is something which needs to be worked on and i still am working on it you have to do it too because be it speaking in english be it excelling in your career be it in your relationships working in your relationships be it uh, fulfilling your dreams or goals you have to you know be cons- consistent about it you you need a confidence for it nothing works without confidence confidence is an integral part of our personality so whenever you are working on your english confidence is something which cannot be denied this is a part which you have to work on no matter what we all have had some sort of childhood traumas which are not letting us perform fully not we are not blossoming to our um, capability we are still struggling with something so there comes your mental health you have to work on it every day you have to keep boosting your own spirits for that i would say don't depend on anyone else that's what i do i'm only depending on myself for every single thing i don't look at people to start valuing me to love me to appreciate me to tell me my worth this is something which i'm going to do only for myself so stand in front of the mirror and tell all the good things that you can to yourself this will keep your confidence up i am going to end this video here only this was my journey and i'm sure it can be very helpful for you also you can learn a lot of things through this journey this can help you level up step up in your life and this is you know all that life is about you have to keep stepping up you cannot get stuck in one area that 10 years ago i was at the basic level now also i'm at the basic level i'll be 65 i'll still be at the basic level of english come on get rid of one level and move to another one 
then fix that up move to another one this is how life functions otherwise we'll be just like that we'll we'll just die one day what's the point so keep working on your skills keep improving in your skills and keep moving on to another skill all right so all the best to you with your confidence with your english with your vocabulary with your overall life skills i'm going to see you in my next video take care of yourself bye for now